Blessing to y'all. Come on in. Sister Mary, Sister Candy, God bless you. Good to have y'all all. Sister Lockley, God bless you. Good to see you as well. Sister Lee, God bless you. Good to see you. Come on in and invite your followers. Rabbi Sticky BBB Oshandi. Glory. Come on in on tonight, amen. Good to see y'all. Back on for another midnight cry flowing without fail or delay, amen. God bless y'all. Good to have y'all on, on tonight. Thank you for the purple hearts. God bless you. God has a word for his people on tonight. Amen. Y'all go ahead and share. Let my soul call my steady day be beyond day. Glory. Come on in, y'all get situated. God getting ready to restore. In this hour, amen. Get ready for what God get ready to do in your life. God's not mocked whatsoever man sowing. That's so we also reap as well. Good to see you, Sister Candy. God getting on my stick, cable C. God getting ready to move not by power nor by might, but by his spirit, amen. We got to trust God. This is the hour that we contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints, amen. I'm getting ready to contend. I believe what God said is mine is mine. Some of y'all, y'all got some blessings. They be cool, my seat. Some of y'all got some blessings laid up for you. And see, can't nobody else get it but you. It got blessings with your name on it. Can't nobody else get what God got for you. The devil ain't nothing but a lie. I believe what God said is mine. I believe that which was told me. That's why I don't I don't walk, I don't walk by what it looked like. I walk by faith and not by sight. So I'm going by what God spoke to me in the spirit realm. I'm not thinking about what it looked like in the natural. I'm not thinking about the bills and and what's going on to the left or to the right, what they're doing on my job, what's going on in my home. See, I'm not, I'm not looking at none of that. I'm looking at what God told me. I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking in the spirit, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm already in 2020. I'm looking, I'm, I'm that far ahead. Like, I'm looking forward to what God getting ready to do in my life. I'm not worried about nothing. God bless you from Alabama. I'm not worried about what it looked like. I'm walking by faith. And not by sight. When you walk by faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of evidence of things not seen. See, it's not going to look like what it is right now. In this present time, he said these present sufferings are what are, are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed. This is something that's getting ready to be revealed down the line. So I ain't going by what it looked like. You know, one thing about it, seeing, listen, one thing about it, blessed is the man that by Steve Kormasi that believed and he had not seen. So you can believe and have your faith on a thing that's not even there. As the word of God said, what is hope? If something you already got, what is that? That ain't no hope at all. You hoping for a car, you got a car. You hoping for money, you got a bank account full of money. See, that ain't no hope. See, the faith is the bow and arrow. And hope is the target. You see what I mean? Faith is a bow and arrow and hope is a target. So one thing about it, if the enemy can steal your hope, he did his job. See, if 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 I'm saying like, man, I hope I get this promotion. I hope I get this blessing. I hope I get this raise. Like I, I hope I I hope I get the move to Mobile, Alabama. I hope I get the move to Montgomery. Like, I hope I get the job. See, the hope, see, you got a hope. But see, if the devil can steal that, guess what you'll be saying? You'll be singing a, a whole nother song. I guess I ain't getting the job. <laughs> I guess I ain't never going nowhere. No, you ain't going nowhere now because you done spoken. I ain't going to never see a promotion. I ain't going to never see my breakthrough. I ain't, ain't going to never see a change. So now what the enemy did his job. What he did was he came and stole your hope. Now you're in a pity party singing that old song. <laughs> now somebody got a lot of candlelight visual for you because the enemy that came and stole that hope. See, that's why I say we get strength in this hour, man. So you ain't got to be sitting in a pity party won't, uh, being on, in somebody's prayer line saying, I need you to pray for me. I feel like I'm about to lose it. Because you done got discouraged. That's why if you get in the spirit, 
and you get up out of that flesh, you'll see what God getting ready to do in your life. Fact about it and say, God, give me B.O. Shande. God, give me foresight so I can see up ahead. Okay, give me foresight so I can see what you're getting ready to do in 2020. You see what I mean? Yeah, I know I know what year it is. I know we're in 2019. But I'm looking forward. I'm all, God already showing me what he getting ready to do. You know what I mean? That's to the fact that I'm just getting ready for it. I'm just trying to get in position so it don't catch me off guard. I'm just trying to be in a place. So when God move, I'll be in position. Somebody say at the right place at the right time. I'm going to be at the right place at the right time for God to show out and do what he said he was going to do in my life. Amen. Beloved, God bless you. Love you. I uh, wanted to encourage you tonight. Uh, Midnight Cry. God bless you. New followers. Uh, those of you watching by uh, uh, way of replay, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitter, wherever y'all from on tonight, Instagram. So like I said, we're going to flow with our fellow. I had this title, beloved, called The Man of Wisdom. And, you know, as I go throughout my day, and I begin to see things, even on my job, and just see things, you know, in general, you know what I mean? Just everything is not just spiritual with me. Like, I get revelation, and I make it spiritual. Like, it can get spiritual real quick. Don't get it twisted. But I see what at first natural, then spiritual. This is where I see some of y'all try to be so deep. All right, for it's first natural, then spiritual. So now I done took the bastil kosi. I done took the stuff in the natural. Now I done, I done, I done confound this thing. I done conformed it to something spiritual. Now I done got revelation out of it, okay? So it says first natural, then spiritual. So I've been declaring what I see in the spirit realm. I'm declaring how people ain't changing. I'm declaring how people are stuck at the same place and ain't never moving forward. First off, you got to get a hold of this natural first and then start dealing with the spiritual. Now, when you mix the spiritual in with it, see, the spiritual going to give you the revelation. That's when you see the hand of God in a thing. All revelation is, is God's hand in a thing, in a situation. See, God moving things around, rearranging, putting your haters here. Putting people, I mean, got demonic decoy. That's God rearranging all that stuff to make you. It's a mechanism thing. Somebody said, well, brother, what's a mechanism thing? I'm glad you asked. A mechanism is, some, is a tool that's something that's going to make you. It's making something. It's a tool that's perfecting you. That's why God, see, God got his hand and stuff. See, he got, he got that agitating, that co-worker, that, that old mean, nasty booger right there. He got them right there. He got that boss over there in this corner giving you hell. Okay, he got that sister in the church uh, frustrating you, bothering you, lying on you. See, he see it's got head in the thing. Some of y'all ain't caught it yet. Now you see, now you see what I'm saying. And see, it's God's hand, God putting those folks there in, posi in position to aggravate you. Soon as you wake up and come on a job, this same booger you gotta face every day on the job being petty. You got petty Betty over here, and you got petty Eddie over there waiting to give you hell when you come into work. So I'm not the only one that ended dealt with that. See, God got those people in position, but see, not the whole time. See, God, what God is doing is, beloved, watch this. God is perfecting you. God is making you. It's a mechanism thing. See, now, I, I had this title, beloved, Sister Sabrina called The Man of Wisdom, because the Word of God clearly tells us and all you're getting, get a what? Get an understanding. Many of us don't have no understanding. I tell people this all the time. Let me mix this in. How one of the worst kinds of trials that you go through, the worst kind of trials you go through, listen, that's one of the worst ones that, that go through one and you don't have no understanding of what's going on. Like you don't have no understanding of a trial, why it's happening the way it's happening. Why the bottom still falling out? Why you still can't get forward? Like, why it seems like people walking in out your life? Why are you losing jobs? Why you got issues here to the left? See, that's one of the worst trials to go through. One of the worst trials you don't have no understanding of. When you got to sit there and watch people close to you die. See, that's the hard trials when you just like, God, I don't understand what you're doing. And to make it worse about it, I can't even hear you. 
It's already bad enough. I don't understand what you're saying. I can't even feel you in prayer. My prayer life is going down. It's like it's already bad enough. I feel like that you didn't forsook me. Now, wait a minute, God. You said in your word that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Then why I feel like this? Why I feel abandoned? Why I feel like an orphan? feel like an orphan, like a mother done abandoned me, my father done abandoned me, my, my people done walked out of my life. Like, why I feel like that? See, one of them trials, see, you you all, you constantly saying, why, why, why? When you need to turn this thing into a say, God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, my stay. What are you doing? So when you say that, God will reveal his hand in the situation. That's why I tell my people all the time, that revelation will change the situation. When you get revelation of a thing about what God doing in your life, that's going to change the situation. Man, listen to me on this. I done been in situations and, and I felt like I'm getting ready to lose my mind. But when I seen God's hand in a thing, I said, wait a minute, God, you doing that. <laughs> you doing this. Like you using these people to perfect my character. All right, you using these people to lie. You using these people to backstab. Couple weeks ago, loan money to a couple people. Y'all, these bookers never called me back. Never called me back to pay the money. But see, you know what I said? Even when I knew they wasn't going to pay this money back, watch this. Even when I knew I wasn't going to pay that money back, I knew God was testing me to see if I was going to give so he can open up a door for somebody else to give. So the same money that I loaned, I got that plus, got that, I got that back plus double. This happened like, what, a month ago, something like that. So I'm seeing how God is trying me in different areas, teaching me how to love my enemy. Well, I'm going to show, I'm going to show some of y'all just how you getting ready to get victory over your enemy. La my say, the enemy you see today, it may not be tomorrow. You're not going to see that same enemy tomorrow. God going to give you a revelation, going to give you a wisdom. That's going to bring you up out of that situation. Yeah, it's going to be strategic, but watch what God do. See, you're going to learn to see God's hand in the situation. So you're not going to be breaking and buckling and saying, God, what are you doing? God going to reveal himself. God bless you. God going to reveal himself in a thing. That's all revelation is. Revelation is God's hand in a situation. Revelation changes the situation, right? But see, I'm going to show you with wisdom. I really wish I had somebody to sit and mentor me. I really wish that I, I could have just turned on Periscope and heard somebody speaking out of revelation, out of the trials and tribulations, things that I went through. I wish I would have had somebody to give me a word so I can go through this life with minimum scars. I wish I had, I wish I had somebody coming in my ear giving me wisdom and rebuking me, correcting me, you know, telling me which way to go. Even when I didn't know God, you know, even when I didn't have a relationship, right? Even when I didn't know God, I wish I had somebody to tell me, man, of God, listen, Travis, this way, don't go this way. I wish it's like I had a bunch of enablers. Watch this. This, I mean, when I tell y'all this message for some of y'all, I had people enabling me to do wrong. I'm going to let that sit in because that's what some of y'all do. No, the Holy Ghost just gave me that for you. I don't know what I'm going to say. I just flow. I just let God use me. Fact about it, I don't care if you get offended. And about that, people unfollow me all the time because I get offended and they get hit right where they're at. If it's just you just say, man, I got, hey, man, I needed that word. I, I needed that. I needed to hear that. See, I had people enabling me, Sister Mary, to stay where I was. They enabled me to stay on dope. Yeah, they enabled me to stay like that. They enabled me to, okay, be a mama's boy. They enabled me to stay where I was. They enabled me to be a drug dealer. They enabled me to be a swinger, a bull. Let's, I mean, let's talk about all that stuff. They enabled me to do all this stuff. I had people telling me that it's okay, that it's all right to live like this. Okay, that it's okay to live any kind, live how you want to live. It's okay to get high. It's okay to smoke that blunt. Go ahead and smoke. They were bringing me the weed. Oh man, I decided I don't want to smoke no more. Why? 
the minute I decide I don't want to smoke no more, the booger come up with all kind. I mean, all kinds of we wait a minute when I couldn't when I couldn't find it when I was getting high. You ain't never have it. So why you got it now? Now I stopped taking the pills. Now you come with all the lower tabs. Then got lower tab like you done bought a pharmacy, and I done quit the pharmaceuticals. I quit snorting the dope. I quit snorting the cocaine, the ecstasy. Now you got it coming around, but when I was getting high, where was it then? I'm saying I had people enabling me to stay where I was. And some of y'all do that. I'm going to give you wisdom on tonight. This kind of wisdom I'm going to give y'all <laughs> in the Uber. <laughs> this, kind of, this kind of wisdom I'm going to give y'all Sister Castillo, it's going to help you to overcome. It's going to help you to get the victory. It's going to help you to walk this Like Watch this. Y'all know I don't flow without scripture. That devil ain't nothing but a lie. You think I'm just going to come on and prophesy money and cars and just give you something and don't give you that word? That, that devil ain't nothing but a lie. We get enough for our flesh. We don't never get nothing for our soul. See, this word right here what's going to keep you. This word keeping some of y'all from backsliding. This word keeping some of y'all from going to jail, losing your mind, overdosing, going back into sin, leaving the church. This word right here keeping some of y'all. So it'd be a shame to get all this word, all this wisdom, and don't do nothing with it. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 5. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 5. He says, get wisdom. Pay attention to the wisdom of God on tonight. He says, get wisdom, get understanding. And he says, forget it, not neither decline from thy mouths of the words of thy mouth. Listen, in all you're getting, you need to get an understanding. How many of us just lack understanding, don't have no knowledge? Hosea, I believe, chapter 4 and 6 says, he says, for my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And he says, he uh, turn back around and say that my people go into captivity because they have no knowledge. One thing about that knowledge, see, knowledge will have you, if no knowledge at all, no understanding, will have you yoked up, have you messed up. No knowledge, no understanding, or have you in the same soul ties. No knowledge, no understanding, have you lost in this world. Sinners are tossed you to and fro because you don't have no knowledge. You didn't have no knowledge in the natural in the world, and now you don't have none in the spiritual walk. How messed up can that be? You didn't have no knowledge in the streets. Now, see me, I'm not boasting about this thing, but I had knowledge in the streets. I had a wisdom in the streets. You wonder why I was I was a, a, a successful dope dealer? Because I knew what it took to make the money. I knew what it took to get for it. I knew what it took to not get caught. And I never got caught doing it. You know why? You're street smart. You know why I didn't get caught? Because I, I did it in a way. I didn't move. I stayed still. I said, you want, you want something? Come to me. I ain't know. I ain't front nothing. I ain't loaning nothing. I, I see. I, I had I had this. I had that street smart. I had a wisdom in the world. I had a wisdom. God, break the spirit of, of pride. Break that cockiness spirit. Lord, I'm not trying to be, Lord, but break it. In Jesus' name. Um... See, I had a I had a wisdom. I had a wisdom in the world. When I when I sold when I sold the dope, when I when I did the dope, I was making money, making enough money, so I was doing the dope. Like I stayed high. So I had a wisdom in the world, you know, when I sold dope to make make the money, you know, do all that. I had the wisdom. And then never got caught, never had no felonies, nothing like that. See, I was street smart. I had enough knowledge. But see, then God flipped it. Well, I'm gonna show y'all. God flipped it. I got over in the spirit. <laughs> Phone ringing 24 7. I got, listen, I got in the spirit, right? And then that same wisdom, this, this is what God does to you. He'll take you up out the world. He'll, he'll take the sin, the, the uh, lustful desires, the wicked thoughts. He'll take all that up out of you, but he'll leave that same boldness up on you. That same boldness you had in the streets. He'll leave that same boldness up on you when you come into the spiritual realm. So listen, you ain't gonna let you ain't let people run you over then. You ain't gonna let them run you over now because God has to leave that same boldness up on you to use you. He knows it's gonna take that same boldness to be able to walk in a place and be able to for him to be able to use you. He can't use nobody weak. 
He can't use you weak, you buckling, and you you crumbling over everything, no pressure at all. What God will do, God will take that sin up out you, turn you around, leave that boldness up on you, and then use you. Because He God wants soldiers. He looking for soldiers. He ain't looking for somebody that's going to break. No, he ain't want no punks. He ain't want somebody that's going to give up in the struggle. No, God, God raise up soldiers. See, God know what he's doing when he going to get the pimps, the drug dealers. God know what he's doing because I need those that's going to, see, that's going to be on my side. I need those that's going to be soldiers. I need those that ain't going to break out of the pressure, ain't going to give up in the struggle. So that's what God will do. So God will take that, that wisdom and that knowledge that I had in the world and then see he'll take it, bring it over to that spiritual, then he'll perfect it. He'll make it pure, and then God will help you with some things. So now you done came over to the spiritual thing. Now here comes the wisdom. Remember, Sister Margaret, how we was messed up, and we didn't want to hear what nobody had to say? Everybody was wrong, and we was right. You was making the money, you was right. Ain't it crazy how you can be so deep in sin and think you all right? Everybody else see you messed up, but you don't see you messed up. See, look how you lack the wisdom. I mean, 19, 20 years old now. Watch this. 19, 20 years old thinking you got it all figured out. Think you know everything about the world. Anybody try to tell you something. Oh, everybody wrong. Everybody against you. Everybody your enemy. Didn't want to hear nothing. Just rejecting wisdom. He says, listen, get wisdom. Now get wisdom, get an understanding, forget it not. He says, neither decline from the words of thy mouth. I don't want this wisdom to leave you. I want this thing I my see. I want wisdom to get in your heart. I want, and all you get it, I want you to get an understanding of something. The reason why many of us are messed up, because we never got understanding. We never caught understanding of what God was doing in our lives. We never got the wisdom. Verse 6, he says, forsake her not. He calls wisdom a her. Wisdom is a her. You know why wisdom because a her? Because wisdom will comfort you. Wisdom will comfort you. A woman can comfort you. It's something about a woman that will comfort you when you mourn. They have a certain, they have a certain way, the tone. See, he calls wisdom a her because a woman can, a woman can soothe you so to speak. Amen. And he says, now forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. He says, love her. I want you to love her. He says, love her, and she shall, and she said, she shall keep thee. Meaning she going to keep my basto CBBBO shandy. She going to keep you from destruction. She going to keep you. So now let me go back to this. Now I wish I had, I wish I had that wisdom to, to, to tell me which way to go, which way to take. I mean, I was in this club, that club, doing everything, just going down the road of destruction, had no wisdom. You understand? So watch this. He says, wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all thy getting, get an understanding. And all thy get, I don't care what you get. I don't care about the money you get. I don't care about how rich you get. I don't care how, many, how about how many platforms you get. How much, how many flowers, uh, flyers, <laughs> How many flyers got your name on that poster that you're getting ready to preach? I don't care about how many cars you got. He says, in all you're getting, get an understanding. Why he say get an understanding? Because this is what's going to keep you. This wisdom is a principal thing, right? It's the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and all thy getting, get an understanding. Verse 8, he says, Exalt her and she shall promote thee. It's something about wisdom that'll take you to the next level. This kind of wisdom I'm getting ready to give y'all on tonight. It's going to exalt you. It's going to exalt you above your haters, above your enemies, your frenemies. It's going to exalt you to the next level. You ain't going to work. It's not even about a title. It ain't about none of that. It ain't about a microphone. But see, it's about being exalted. See, what God is doing right now, glory to God. I'm glad the Holy Ghost giving me this. He giving y'all a lot. But see, God is judging what you do in the natural. That's why you ain't got no promotion in the spirit. Did you catch what I said? Let me repeat that for you, for ones that didn't get it. 
God is judging what you're doing in the natural. That's why you ain't seeing no promotion in the spirit. Why are you still at a standstill in the spirit? You still can't hear God? You still ain't activated Jesus? You still ain't tapped the glory? You still ain't came to another place? The word of God said there's high heights and deeper depths. Why you ain't came up higher? John was talking about come up here to come up to another level. Let my story say, what did he say? The deep call it the deep. They say, well, you so deep, then why are you so shallow? Why are you still in the, in the kiddie pool with floaties on? Do you understand? He said, listen, watch this. He says, now exalt her, she shall promote thee. No, I'm not a Christian. I'm a saint. He says, he shall promote thee, and she shall bring thee honor with thy due embrace. See, one thing about wisdom, wisdom going to take you to the next level. It's going to promote you. It's like just like an elevator going from the fifth floor to the fifteenth floor. I mean, raising you, I might stay high above your enemies, raising you to a whole other place, a place you didn't think you could be. So now here comes the haters. Oh, your promotion! It's gonna come with some haters. Y'all might as well forget about not being talked about. You might as well forget about not being liked. People ain't gonna like you. They don't like you now because in, 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 in the life you living now and you struggling. You struggling in your little life and they still don't like you. You ain't even hit your full potential yet. You think they mad now. They mad at the little new car you got now. Wait till they see what God really going to do. La Masto say, wait until he starts blowing the minds of your haters. Wait, and, wait until they see the increase hit your life. Wait it by still see come on my see. Wait until they see the glory invade your life. They ain't need me co-sign now my sticky video shot. They ain't seen nothing yet, so they mad now. They really, they really go listen to. They really gonna be mad when that glory hit. Half of us ain't even seen the Jesus anointing yet. You mad because of this little, this little anointing you see now? You, the Jesus anointing ain't even clicked in yet. What's going to happen when he gets here? <laughs> Beloved, besides, but besides all that, that goes along with it. But you, wisdom is getting ready to exalt you. She's going to exalt you and bring you to the next level. Now, watch this. I'm not done with this about um, the wisdom. Do you believe that Jesus died for us on the cross? Yes, I do. Um, same, uh, same, um, same chapter, verse... Uh, Proverbs 4, verse 20. Sorry about that. Proverbs 4, verse 20. He says, my son, this was Timothy. And, um, this is what he was talking about in this. My son, attend to my words and climb thy ears unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of my heart. Now, listen, I want you now, when I, when I give you this word, I want you to keep this thing hidden in you. This wisdom, I want you to cherish this thing because this wisdom is able to take you to the next level. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Incline thy ears till I say it. Let them not depart from thy heart. Beloved, one thing about wisdom. He says, in all you're getting, get an understanding, right? So we went over that scripture and I'm just going to flow throughout. So I gave you, I gave you word on tonight. Because through the word, the word, the spirit speaking expressively. Some of you, he just gave you confirmation on what you've been reading, probably read throughout the week. You understand a prophet is coming to bring you confirmation. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be what? Established, right? Do you read your Bible? So beloved, this is the hour that we get wisdom. It's about, see, one thing about a man of wisdom, a woman of wisdom, but I'm going to change the title because I don't want it to seem like, you know, like it is like I'm being trying to exclude people. And that's not the case because I want people to get this word and get an understanding of it. Hosea 4 and 6, he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge and that my people go into captivity because they had no have no knowledge, right? Imagine if we went through this life and we had a little bit more wisdom. See, God on my state, God will bring you through stuff. Don't you realize that your life is revelation? Your life and everything you go through is revelation. God will bring you through some stuff. 
And what God will do is, see, God will allow your life to be a message to other people. He'll allow your life to be a message. I cannot find my, my wedding ring, but I think I know where it is. God will allow, he'll allow your life to be revelation to other people. And so I look back, I look back on everything that God brought me through. And I look back on the situations and how I, the, the, the revelation that God gave me that when I was coming out of things and God showed me why I had to bring you through. Then it's crazy how when you was going through it, you didn't see it like that at first. This is why you always say, God, give me eyes to see it the way you see it. And I'll be like, God, okay, God, you allow me to go through a thing, but you don't give me the wisdom till afterwards. <laughs> this is why I had to take you through it. This is why I let, this is why I let so-and-so lie on you. This is why I let this happen. This is why, you know, I let this one turn on you. This is why I let the issues happen in that relationship. Why I let them walk out of your life. Why I had to let you sit and watch your mother die. See, God, why I let you be abandoned. See, God will take you through this stuff and he'll show, give you wisdom. Have any, have any of you seen that? Well, God will give you wisdom after a thing. <laughs> you look back on it and you see God's hand in a thing. You see God's hand that was in a situation. You didn't see it then, but now God, I got eyes to see what you was doing in my life. See, now I'm not going to get bitter. I'm not going to get mean and vindictive. Now I got an understanding of what you was doing. So now I just give God the glory for just the wisdom. I thank God for the knowledge. See what he's brought me into now. I thank him for everything that he brought me through in the world. Because it still brought me to something in the spiritual. It still worked out by It still worked together for my good. Even when I was going through all of that. Even when I was messed up, he still put his hand on me and chose me. He still anointed me to preach the gospel. He still filled me with the Holy Ghost. He still saved me. And amidst all that, God still chose me, put a wisdom up on me, and still used me. And all you're getting, get an understanding. Don't reject wisdom. Ain't it crazy? And avoid these kind of people right here. When you got somebody trying to tell you what's right, trying to tell you uh, what the, the what to do, how, the way to go, trying to give you the wisdom, give you the understanding. And then I have somebody come in your ear and say, don't listen to that. You ain't got to listen to that. Do it this way. See, that's how the enemy does. He'll get in your ear. Somebody trying to encourage you, give you wisdom, showing you what not to do. Man, don't do it this way. You can't, you can't win like that. You can't win with this attitude. Try this. You know, use this mind. I mean, when you're sitting here trying to give somebody wisdom and then you know the enemy getting ready to come and talk to them, it's like, what, what, does, the word, what does the word tell us? It's like a, re, a, 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 a seed that's sown on stony grounds. And see, the enemy come and snatch that word. That's how the enemy does. See, he come and snatch that wisdom that you receive. That word that you heard that Sunday, you know it was good. But see, the enemy came and snatched that word. La masto see. It's just like when God's speaking to you a thing. And one thing about it, when God speaks to you, you got to understand it's all, it's in that spiritual realm. When God speaks to you and God giving you wisdom and understanding, grab that word right there. Because one thing about the spiritual realm, it's like vapor. You're not going to be able to grab it again because once it comes through, it's coming through. You got to grab it. It's like your mind, that natural mind is going to drown out that spiritual See, because this flesh, this carnality can override that spirit. Now you got to wait for God to speak. Have you ever been in a place in a realm with God where you heard God, you know you heard God speak, but you forgot what he said? Have you ever been there? Some of you prophets, prophetess, you've been in a place where you heard God speak, but you forgot what he said. Man, God spoke something, but I can't remember what he said. See, that spiritual realm is not coming from the natural. It's in the spirit, so it's like vapor. If you don't get it, yeah, that, yeah, take a journal. That's right. If you don't take up, yeah, even with dreams, exactly. Dreams do that too. Even with that, it's like vapor. It will fade away if you don't get it. It's only going to stay there for a little while, but after a while, that carnal realm gonna drag, uh, that's going to 
drown it out is what I meant to say. And that's just like wisdom, beloved. If you don't catch wisdom, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss your elevation. What did he say? When you get the wisdom, it's going to promote you. Don't ever reject wisdom. Don't reject counsel. It's about a man of wisdom. How many want wisdom in this hour? And all that getting, getting understanding. Amen. I just want to encourage y'all. Just flowing. Just give you a, a quick teaching about wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. And all that getting, beloved, get wisdom. Wisdom going to take you to the next level. It's going to take you to the next level in your ministry. Take you to the next level in your anointing. Obey your covenant. Listen, listen to your leader. You know them folks ain't telling you nothing wrong, especially when it's coming from the word. It's biblical and you still rejecting it. You don't want it. Only a fool rejects wisdom. Only fool rejects a spiritual knowledge, godly knowledge. Because don't get it twisted. There's two types of knowledge. There's worldly knowledge and there's godly knowledge. See, we had that worldly knowledge, but see, God had to come over and perfect us and get that worldly stuff up out of us. He had to renew us, take the sin out, drown that stuff out. Beloved, get wisdom in this hour, man. God bless y'all. Just wanted to encourage you on tonight, just flowing without fail or delay. Amen. And like I said, I believe I poured out into this message. Awesome teaching. And go back and replay it if you if you want to be fed through it. Amen. God bless y'all. Anybody have any questions? Any prayer on tonight? Before I get off. Any questions, any prayer? If you need my information, beloved, it's all on the profile as well. You can reach me uh, by Prophet Travis Mill at gmail.com. And man, God bless you. Uh, Sister Margaret, good to see y'all. I'm going to look at y'all's profile. Didn't have a really chance to see. Dominique, God bless you. Good to see you as well. Sister Mary, Sister Castillo. Yes, prayer for my nose. Have, uh, what is that? Polyps? Polyps? I can't. Uh, Dr. Dodd knows me with life. I've heard that name before, but we're going to pray for that in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you on tonight, God, just for restoration. God, we ask you to touch Sister Dominique right now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, take away the symptoms, every pain in her body. God, ask you to send relaxation to her spirit. In Jesus' name, even God, calm her mind, calm her thinking. Lord, let her know, speak to him. Let her know that by your stripes, we were healed. God, touch her right now in a mighty way. Move through your anointing, through your healing on tonight. Amen. God, we need you to move in such a way, not by power, nor by might, but by your spirit on tonight. God, move for your people on tonight. God, we thank you for complete restoration. And God, we thank you, Lord, for new lives, new mindset. Let my still say glory. God, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in this hour, Lord. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear. God, break the stony heart so we can receive from you in this season. In Jesus' name, amen. If I missed your uh, comments, just email me at prophettravismill at gmail.com, and I can also pray for you there as well, amen. God bless y'all. Listen, I'll be back on tomorrow night, flowing without fail or delay, back on for the midnight crowd. Love you so much. Uh, thank you for watching. Be blessed.